mean, one of my first memories is um, having a, um, a bumper pack of felt tip pens for Christmas one year. I've just been really, really pleased with them. And um, the first thing that I did was take them all out of the packet and re assess the colours, starting with black. Black was always my favourite for outlines. And then just go along the colour spectrum. And um, yeah, I can just always remember at school loving the drawing and the colouring in. And I think it, you know, I always drew, I always painted. And my mum used to make things. She used to do knitting and she used to go to pottery classes and woodwork. So she was always doing something, making something. And that obviously rubbed off on me. So I kind of, I, I sort of pursued graphics and then I kind of got out of that and um, did my own thing. And for about five years I made small pieces of painted furniture from MDF and just decorated them. And I used to sell those to shops and through galleries. And then I did a bit of jewellery making and designing and a bit of window dressing. And it was during the window dressing that I realised paper was a really good a uh, medium to work with because it was readily available, fairly cheap and if you went wrong you just recycle it and start all over again so it just kind of, the more I started to work with it the more I realised that I could manipulate it and I could do things to it to make it work for me. It's something that I can go to a shop and I can just pick it up, buy it and, and you know I can go and feel the different weights of it as well because texture and weight are really important and I do use a lot of just coloured paper but I also buy watercolour paper of different weights, thicknesses, textures and I paint that as well so um, I've got lots of little tester pots of paint just you know household emulsion paint and I like to use those I like to do a wash a dry brush and it just kind of brings the texture out of the paper and so I'm kind of building up a, um, a multi-layered image and um, I use folding and scoring and just sort of manipulate the paper to build this this multi-layered image sometimes it's in a frame. Quite often um, I do sort of 360 um, views of things that I put in domes and I use digital things but the majority of my work is analogue. It's from here, it's my hands It's it, and I would see myself, yeah I'm an artist, I'm an illustrator but I think I'm a crafts person as well and I, that's really important and the quality of my work is quite important to me as well so I'm kind of um, striving for perfection quite a lot of the time but yeah, that is important to me but it's also important that my my workings can be seen in what I do as well my my hand is in my work as well mm.